Real quick, iPhone video 2.1. Here's a basic Ableton session I've had, uh, the AK Force, just for about an hour out of the box. I just wanted to see if I could sync it with Ableton. So I went to, you know, settings and I turned on the Wi Fi up here. It was pretty simple settings. Boop, Wi Fi connected to my network. Went to the sync source. Sync source up here is Ableton Link, which you can select from all these things. Boom, done. Okay. You got Ableton Link and Wi Fi on your Ableton session. And I'm just going to go. There's a very simple clip in Ableton. Now we'll go over here to launch. interesting things when you go to the mute mode it mutes channels which is cool but here's channel 2 which is a drum kit go to notes so these are all drums when you hit mute mute mode you can't mute the individual drums. Only the track. So you can't mute the individual pads within a kit, at least not that I can see so far. Let's turn this off. And also on the mixer mode, which you can't seem to do, at least not that I can see right now and without some work and some hunting, is how to expand the hip hop kit. I'm sure it's possible. I'll play with it some more. Uh, but these are my first impressions. It's a little strange, the intuitiveness of the mixer. For example, if you go to mix over here and you have this kit and you hit the button on push, it suddenly becomes, um, you know, this whole kit of drums versus, you know, the whole kit together versus individual pads. And if you go to mute, for example, solo you can go like this you can solo mute pads like you would think right over here we're gonna um, unmute these pads channels let's go to solo you can solo a channel can you just solo a pad though nope so the solo and mute at least in this release do not apply you can go to mute nope those are so far the things that I found